all these students. Teacher Lucy of Mary Witea Cabinbury School is here. Welcome back to my English class. Today, we are going to learn a story. Its title is How the Raven Stole the Sun. We will listen to the narration of the story. And we're going to learn some vocabulary as well. I would like you to look at the picture of this bird. This bird is a raven. What can you say about it? It is black. It is huge. Huge means large or big. It is scary. It makes you feel frightened or afraid. Undomesticated. A raven is undomesticated. It means that this bird is not living under human control. It lives on its own. It has shiny feathers. What else can you say about the picture? It is untamed. Untamed means wild. And it is ferocious. Ferocious means strong, violent, and powerful. Here are some things to understand about a raven according to symbolism and mythology. When we say symbolism, it is a representation of something. And mythology is a collection of old stories about a specific person, culture, religion, or any group with shared beliefs. So first, a raven is a talking bird which represents prophecy and insight. Prophecy is a prediction. It tells that something is going to happen in the future. And insight is a deep understanding of a person or a thing. Second, a raven is associated with ill omen. It means that a raven is related or connected to an evil event or something bad is going to happen. Third, as carrion birds, ravens became connected with the dead and lost souls. Carrion birds mean those that eat meat or human flesh. Ravens are black, so their color represents death. Lost souls mean those who are not happy and do not belong with any particular group of people in the society. Now, you have a better understanding about a raven bird. Before we will read the story, let's take a look at the following list of vocabulary. The first word is scold, scold. This word means to point out the mistake of someone in an angry manner. Next is beak, beak. This means the hard and pointed part of a bird's mouth. 
refuse. Refuse. It means to turn down something that is offered or requested. Spread. Spread. It means to extend or to make longer or wider. Decide. Decide. Is to make a choice or to make up one's mind. Swallow. Swallow means to pass down the throat. Next is hemlock needle. Hemlock needle. It is a very tiny leaf of a hemlock tree. And the last word is treasure. Treasure. This is something that is very special, important. And valuable. Here we go with the story. Look at the raven. The sun is in its mouth. That's how powerful the raven was. This is a Haida folk tale. It is a traditional story of Haida people. Haida people were good hunters. They lived in the islands of northern British Columbia. Now, I want you to do the first reading of the story quietly. I would like you to listen to the narration of the story by the teacher. How the Raven Stole the Sun A Haida Folk Tale In the beginning, the world was completely dark. The raven was tired of flying around blind and bumping into things. One day, the raven found a house by the river where an old man lived with his daughter. The raven heard the old man talking about a great treasure, the only light in the world. The man kept the light in a tiny box, which was inside a larger box, which was inside an even larger box, and so on. The raven decided to steal the light for himself. First, he tried to find a way into the house. But, no matter how hard he looked, he couldn't find a door. Finally, the raven came up with a plan. When the old man's daughter came out to get water, he changed himself into a hemlock needle and floated down the river. When the girl took a drink from the river, she swallowed the needle. Once inside the girl, the raven changed into a very small human and went to sleep. Then one day, the raven came out in the shape of a human boy. The old man was surprised at the arrival of his new grandchild, but soon came to love him. Meanwhile, the raven looked for the light. He found the largest box and carefully opened it, but all he found was another box. The grandfather heard the raven child opening the box and scolded him. The raven child asked his grandfather to give him just the largest box to play with. The old man agreed and gave the raven child the first box. After a while, the raven child demanded that the old man give him the next box. The old man loved his grandson and agreed. It took many days of crying and begging, but one by one, the boxes were removed. When only few boxes were left, light began to fill the house. Then the raven child begged his grandfather to let him hold the light for just a moment.
The old man refused at first, but after a while he agreed. He took the beautiful glowing ball out of the box and threw it to his grandson. At once, the raven turned back into a bird and caught the ball of light in his beak. Then moving his powerful wings, he flew through the roof of the house and escaped. Once out of the house, the light spread all over the sky. And that is how the sun came to be in the sky. Let's try to understand the important ideas and details of the story per paragraph. In the story, we already know that there are three main characters, the raven, the old man, and his daughter. Let's look at the main idea of the first paragraph. Completely dark. This means there was no light. Great treasure. The only light in the world. And that is the sun. Decided to steal the light. In here, the raven chose to take the light for himself. Changed himself into a hemlock needle and floated down the river. Swallowed the needle. Very small human. So the raven made a trick. Or let's say magic. He turned himself into a needle. And that needle was swallowed by the girl. And the needle became a very small human. We are going to look for the important details in this part of the story. The first is human boy. It means the raven became a new grandson of the old man. Another one scolded him. The old man got angry because the raven child found and tried to open the box of light. Next, demanded. In here, the raven child ordered his grandfather to give him the box. And then, light began to fill the house. Begged. Hold the light for just a moment. These three would mean that there was light in the room, and the raven child wanted to have the light in his hand. These are the two last paragraphs of the story. Let's take a look at the important details. Refused at first. Caught the ball of light in his beak. So, due to the old man's love for his grandson, he threw the ball and the raven child turned back into a bird and caught the sun with its beak. Powerful wings. Light spread all over the sky. So the raven got away from the house and spread the light all over the sky. So that is how the sun came to be in the sky. Vocabulary Extension In the story, there are three words that are nearly similar in meaning, but we use them in different situations. These are Ask, beg, demand. Ask is to say something as a question. 
It means that you want someone to do something for you. Can you find the sentence in the story that uses the word ask? Here it is. The raven child asked his grandfather to give him just the largest box to play with. Next is beg. This is to ask someone for something in a very serious and emotional way. It means that you ask someone to do something for you in a humble way. Find the sentence in the story that uses the word beg. Then the raven child begged his grandfather to let him hold the light for just a moment. The last word is demand. This is to ask someone for something in a very urgent and forceful way. This means you command someone to do something for you. Which sentence in the story uses the word demand? After a while, the raven child demanded that the old man give him the next box. As you can see, these three words, ask, beg, and demand, are in the simple past form in the sentences because all the actions in the story were in the past. When the actions are in the past, we use the simple past form of verbs. Circle the correct answer to complete each sentence below. Number 1. The angry crowd blank that the concert organizers give back their money. Which is the correct answer? Is it demanded or asked? Our answer is demanded. What are the clues? For us to choose our correct answer. Angry and give back their money. Number two. He blanked us if we went to school today. What is our hint here? If we went to school today. So the correct answer is asked. Number three. I blank my mom to help me with my homework. What is our hint here? Help me. And the correct answer is begged. Number four. The whole class blank our teacher to give us more time to do the test. Our hint here is, give us more time. The correct answer is, begged. Number five. I was so angry. I blanked my classmate to stop taking my things without asking my permission. What are the clues here? Angry. Stop without asking my permission. And the correct answer is demanded. Now it's your turn. Answer. Read the sentences carefully, then write the correct answer using the simple past form of the verb to complete each sentence below.
In this exercise, you are going to number the events in the story from 1 to 10. 1 being the first. I am going to read the sentences for you. A. Light began to fill the house. B. The old man threw the light to his grandchild. C. The old man's daughter swallowed the needle. D. The raven found a house. E. The raven found the largest box. F. The raven child appeared. G. The sun appeared in the sky. H. The world was dark. I. The raven decided to steal the light for himself. J. The raven caught the ball of light in his beak. Goodbye, students. Have a nice day.